Hey everyone, this is Uthris. Welcome back to Medieval Engineers. So, I went ahead and finished the cathedral. It has a full roof now, and all the buttressing is done. The interior pillars are done. It's missing all the furniture, but uh, this is about as far as I want to take it at the moment. Uh, for my sanity, really, more than anything. Let me just uh, get rid of that. Go away. Thank you. So, it does follow the pretty standard cathedral design. Uh, from, of course, above, it looks like a cross. That's generally what they're going for when they make one of these. On the inside, it is definitely very open. And, uh, I think really looks grand and like a real cathedral does. It's not quite to scale. I mean, a real one's probably twice, twice as big at least, and has like multiple stories. Uh, each one of these would actually just be the first story. So like the first story would be like this high off the ground, and then it would do a second story. So this game doesn't really handle things to that scale uh, in terms of structural integrity. But good news is, everything is withstanding. Uh, so if I turn on structural integrity right now, it would work just fine. Granted, there are spots getting relatively weak, but that's to be expected. These are the columns holding a lot of the weight. Uh, especially, it's mainly these four inner ones. Uh, they're the main problem childs. Uh, the back back here would be, you know, would build a stage, uh, maybe some choirs, uh, things like that. But not, as I said, not doing that right now. Uh, this episode, we're going to be moving on from our cathedral and starting a, a newer project. Just kind of give you one last flyover. It is very nice. I mean, cathedrals, one of my favorite buildings uh, in real life. Uh, they're just very beautiful engineering feats. So this episode, we're going to be working on a guild hall. And the guild hall that I made in Lothloria was really basic and really almost could be considered a house. It doesn't really pertain to anything crafting-wise or professions specifically. And I'm going to be changing that with this structure this one uh, we're going to build the guild hall the crafters hall and that's going to be covering all the crafting possessions from stonemason to blacksmith to wood uh, carpenter um, maybe pottery it is, it is a craft and I think that's it so the four good uh, sound crafting professions um, and to do this, we're going to basically make a compound of structures, very similar to the barracks in the sense that it's three separate buildings that act as one. This one's going to have kind of a living quarters, kind of uh, guild hall-esque uh, common area, and then it's professions attached to different wings and areas. Uh, so, I guess we just have... I think I'm going to just build the guild hall, the common area first for this episode and see how long that takes. And then from there, we'll start adding the other professions onto it. So, let's see. This one's it's going to be a fairly large structure, of course. It's going to have kind of a main room and then off of that main room kind of a multiple wings I think would be best to do and so something like this and this is where they would store all their funds take contracts uh, the business side of the hall 
would be operating in this structure. And then from here, I guess we can, I don't know if I want to put dormitories for the guild, just because they would, in my opinion, professionals would ha make enough money to own their own house. This is just a gathering place to work on your craft. So we'll just kind of go from there. First things first, need to drag some things onto my bar. It's a little messy from doing the cathedral and bouncing between uh, different versions of the save to make sure I can get block types. And so let's, uh, I guess, just start simply by making our doorway. And of course, a doorway for each little wing. Uh, this back one could be just the office, uh, the main guildmaster's office. Maybe making a wing for each profession would be cool, but since they all fall under the craftsman profession, I don't think it would be necessary in this case. And these little wings will just be single story. Uh, this center piece will be probably a two story structure. And to do so, it might be best to lay out a nice staircase. Kind of entryway there. Let's also go ahead and lay out some windows for these side rooms. And again, as always, offset and rotate these wall pieces so you can get a nice alternating pattern. Actually, it looks like it's supporting something rather than just haphazardly thrown together. Something like that would be okay, I think. And then of course, some type of porch if I would actually use the correct wooden block here. I'm still really waiting on a, a lot more variation in mods. Uh, once this thing gets diverse as space engineers, I feel like a lot more people would be playing the game. Because right now, it feels like there's just not quite as much hype behind it as there was before which is standard for pretty uh, much every early access game that I uh, have ever played. It's, it's a kind of a big boom and then people find out, well, it's not quite finished yet. I don't know why they don't figure it out beforehand. And then they go away and come back. It's uh, pretty much a pretty standard theme at this point. Then we can put some type of closet-like structure there, just underneath the staircase. Always a good idea, in my opinion, to do. Oop. The slight floatiness of the flying has always been a bit of a trouble to deal with sometimes feels just a little too too much of a nuisance at times. And 
And from here, no, not there. It's not where I want it. Actually. So we're going to mix this up just a little bit. And so this large area is going to be very open, and then it will go up to a upper story. Yep, something, something like this. And then also going to do stone battlements as railings there and then switch to one of our mods we have a nice fence that we can use it's a nice low fence uh, it's much better looking in my opinion than these ones out here so you can see that um, it's still quite not the right height, but it's a lot better. It's not coming up to my neck anymore. It's just coming up to about my uh, upper thigh. The, the scale of the character in this game is just so weird. It just never feels right to me. I don't know. I don't know what the cause of that is. this we can have some tables down here and then also some tables up here it's almost like a tavern for uh, just guild members And now we can do our window placement. For this nice upper story. We're probably going to get some tavern vibes here. Um, I might do some chandelier work as well. quickly I wanted to see if I can't record all of this in kind of one go without having to do any sort of skip Looks like we're probably going to have to do one anyways. Last weekend I was thinking about uh, what I would like to live stream. And uh, so I have a couple, couple ideas. You guys can tell me what you think you'd want to come participate in or what have you. I can either do... Um, some some live streaming of Lothloria for you guys and try and work through some of the lag and get into adding some details onto the finished buildings give a tour for Twitch maybe and then also we could uh, I could host some Warcraft 3 maps you guys can join uh, kind of first come first serve basis and we can go from there and play some Warcraft 3. It's kind of an old, oldie but a goodie. Let's uh, let's leave it at a, kind of a barn style 
Maybe. I don't know if I'll like that. Uh, just keep building. But yeah, Warcraft 3, uh, try hosting that, or maybe uh, some other game that I've played recently, if you want. Um, yeah, I, I was doing some some mic tests over the weekend, uh, making sure my setup is capable of at least streaming something, and then also I was uh, trying to decide what's a good program for live stream. Uh, streaming on Twitch. If you guys have any suggestions on that as well, uh, I'd be happy to hear it because I don't know a lick about it. It's it's kind of a new thing that I want to get to do. That way I can hang out with you all and talk, you know, in real time, bounce ideas back and forth, and just have fun. Building a roof. Building a roof. And let's see. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a skip. Uh, kind of running out of things to kind of update you all about. So I'll be right back, and this structure will be finished, and we can go from there. All right, everyone. So I kind of finished the shell for the crafting guild hall, and this is just. Again, the the meeting area for the guild hall for the crafters. Uh, it, it is missing the actual workstations for each uh, four sections, but this is just basically what what would be um, the the structure in the barracks that commanding uh, stone structure. It's basically the equivalent of that, but the civil version, so the civilian uh, guild hall version. Uh, we have a nice kind of open uh, entryway, and the plans for this, of course, is going to be very tavern-like. It's going to be a bunch of tables and chairs, uh, places for people to gather, and also I'll probably make a bar uh, in one of the corners, if not both of the corners. Probably some sort of kitchen area on one of the left or right wings, it doesn't really matter. And then also a storage area on one of the left or right wings. And then this is the kind of guild master's office. This is where he would sit, accept contracts from the outside, and then put it up pretty much to do on the do-do bulletin board uh, for everyone else to process. I'm trying to think if I should put an archway here, but I don't think so. I might take away from the doorway too much. No. Okay. So I think that'll do it for this episode. I uh, hope you guys liked it. And as always, uh, I'll, I'll put a link to the Steam Workshop for this build. I'm going to update it so you guys can get the finished cathedral to walk around in and destroy at your leisure. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching and subscribing.